Should I bulk or cut? Is one of the most commonly asked questions in the world of fitness, and I know that deciding which one to do can feel so difficult and overwhelming. But it is really not that difficult, because all our body wants is to look better with more muscles and less body fat. So in this video, I am going to tell you when and how you should bulk and cut, and how you can do both at the same time. So if that sounds interesting, then stick with the video till the end. So first, let's start with the bulking phase. In this phase, you are basically trying to put on weight by having a slow and controlled calorie surplus. The main objective of this phase is to have a stable muscle growth while avoiding the unnecessary fat. According to this research done in 2019, about 50 to 85% of the weight gain during this phase is going to be muscle and the rest will be fat, which can vary depending upon your training experiences, genetics, and the number of the calories that you are eating per day. And then after the bulking phase is over, you can do the cutting phase to lose that extra fat and reveal the muscles that you have gained. Let's look at some of the pros and cons of bulking phase. There are three main benefits of this strategy. First, you will develop strength a lot faster. Second, you will be incredibly energized and working out will be more enjoyable. And third, you will look bigger and better having clothes on. In terms of the cons, there are three main disadvantages of using this approach. First, you will start to accumulate body fat, so your muscles will be hidden under your fat, which means you will not be looking as impressive without having a shirt on. Second, it will be hard to get rid of the extra accumulated fat, so be ready for a calorie deficit. And third, once your body gets past the 20% body fat, you start to have a higher risk of negative health effects. So, who should be using this approach? Based on the pros and cons, bulking is typically suitable for people that are currently skinny or have very little muscles. It is also a good option for people that want to build muscles and strength before getting lean, and it's generally a good idea to do bulking if you have low body fat percentage of around 10 to 15%. Now let's talk about the second option, which is cutting first. The main goal of this approach is to maintain muscles while reducing your body fat percentage, which means you will have to have a calorie deficit. So, what are the pros and cons of using this approach? First, let's talk about the pros. Number one, you will look much better without clothes as your body fat will start to go down and you will have a better muscle definition, which will make you more confident and motivated to continue the journey. Second, you are more likely to build muscles using this approach even if you have a higher body fat or if you are inexperienced. Third, if you start out with a larger body fat percentage, this method will put you in a much better position to gain weight later. And last, once you lean down, you can have a better idea about your muscle mass and whether or not you need to add more and concentrate on bulking. There are also three cons of using this approach. First, you will not gain strength quickly. Second, your workouts will have more cardio so they will not be as enjoyable as before. And last, you will look skinny without as much muscles as you would like to. All right so it would be a good idea for you to cut first if you have a relatively higher body fat percentage of approximately more than 15%. And if you are someone who wants to focus on losing fat first and looking lean instead of gaining more size. Hey guys, if you are enjoying the video this far, then please make sure to subscribe the channel and like the video to help our content reach more people. We really appreciate it. Now let's talk about the last and final method, which is called body recomposition. In this method, you are losing fat and building muscles at the same time, with your weight being fairly stable throughout the process. Clearly, everyone benefits from this situation, and this is something that everybody wants, but the speed of achieving this goal can vary a lot from person to person, and it is very challenging to measure the progress in this situation because your weight is staying fairly constant. The main advantage of using this approach is that you get to build muscles and lose fat at the same time. But some of the disadvantages of using this approach is that first, it is highly individual. Some have better success than other. Second, it is very hard to measure, since the progress is quite slow. Third, it is hard to tell how long it will take, usually a few months. And last, most people are able to build muscles and lose fat on a normal cutting phase. So, who should follow this method? Basically, this method is optimal for beginners sitting at roughly 15% body fat that have never done proper training and nutrition. It is also good for people that want to get bigger and stronger while slowly getting leaner. So, if you are still confused, then let me break it down for you. 
There are three options that you have to choose from, bulk versus cut, versus body recomposition. And to decide that, ask yourself two simple questions. First, what is the main goal that you want to achieve right now? And second, what is your current body fat percentage? If you are trying to add more size, build muscles, gain strength or set personal records, then it would be best for you to start with the bilking phase as long as your body fat percentage is around 10 to 15 percent. But if you are sitting at body fat of around 20 percent, then you should start with the cutting phase and then build your way up. Second, if your main goal is to get lean, look more muscular, and have a quick visual progress, then starting with cutting phase would be the best option for you. Whichever approach you use, the end goal is same no matter what, which is a lean muscular physique with more muscles and less fat. So don't try to complicate things, especially in the beginning. You can check out more of our videos and subscribe to the channel if you want simple to follow research-based fitness tips. I would highly recommend that you check out this video about the four best supplements to build muscles faster if you are a skinny person. That is all for this video. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. And if you have any question, leave it down below in the comment section. I will see you in next one.